Two men have been jailed for murdering a young dad who came to the aid of a 17-year-old girl in Sheffield City Center. Reese Radford intervened when the teenager was assaulted by Derek Ousu in Arundel Gate on September 29 last year. Ousu, 39, and Louis James, 46, had been out drinking and bumped into the teenage girl who they knew sitting at a bus stop. The three of them shared alcohol, but shortly after 2.20 am Ousu punched her in the face. This prompted Reese to intervene and punch Ousu. A fight broke out which led to Reese being fatally stabbed. He left behind a daughter who was just seven months old. Today, Louis James, 47, who stabbed Mr. Radford, was jailed for a minimum term of 25 years, while Derek Ousu, 40, received a minimum term of 15 years. Both were convicted of murder last month following a trial. Judge Sarah Wright, sitting at Sheffield Crown Court, told Ousu and James that they were both drunk and had been drinking all evening when they attacked Reese Radford. The judge said Reese had arrived in Arundel Gate where he had shouted racist remarks towards the two men. When Ousu punched the young woman to the floor, Reese intervened. Both men started to attack Reese, who was a nar. Judge Wright told them, you both said about him and, having put him to the floor in the middle of the road, he found himself face up and subjected to serious violence inflicted by both of you. You Ousu kicked him to the head three or four times. The ferocity of those kicks can be seen on the CCTV. James stabbed Reese in the chest, causing the fatal injury. The stabbing took place in the middle of the road when James was on top of Reese, who was on the floor. During the incident, Ousu stole Reese's wallet from the floor. Both left the scene with James dropping the knife down a drain, and later denied ever having a knife. The weapon was found by police. Reese was described as a much-loved son, stepson, brother, and grandson, whose daughter was just seven months old when her father was murdered. She will grow up not knowing her father, said the judge. His mother described him as her everything. His family are devastated and shattered by his loss and their lives will never be the same again. In relation to mitigating factors, the judge said there was an element of self-defense in the case of Lewis James. But this was only momentary before it very quickly turned into an unlawful joint attack. I cannot imagine what the family of Reese are going through. Would like to send my condolences. Rest in peace to the young man.